What's up, world? It's your girl, Nita B, aka Young Show, back with another video. If this y'all first time coming across my channel, if y'all subscribed yet, go on hit the subscribe button right now and turn on post notification bells on so y'all know every time I'm posting these videos. That's right. And go ahead and like this thing. You clicked on the video, go on and like the video. Get them numbers up. Let's run it. We on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So don't be shy. Hit that subscribe button and like it. You feel me? So we didn't got all that out the way. Y'all know what's going on. I got a story time. Plus, this is my first time, y'all. This is my first time trying Old El Paso's Takis Taco Shell. Now, y'all know them Takis. You know, Takis put a popular to the young crowd, to the young people who like it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's inspired by the Frigo, the Frigo Takis. So we gonna see what this busting on. Hopefully it's busting and not disgusting. Hopefully we get some stuff in, you know what I'm saying? So this is gonna be like a video on a video. You know what I'm saying? I got a little something I wanna shout out y'all. You know, I didn't told y'all my stories about this and about that, but this time I'ma let y'all some insight on some stuff that I don't even like discussing, you feel me? I don't even like bringing this up. I don't like talking about it, but I'm gonna be vulnerable about it. I'm gonna be vulnerable. I'm gonna let y'all know what's really going on. Man, this is a touchy subject because I'm all the way out the closet. Y'all already seen my coming out story. Y'all already seen my first time dealing with a female. So it's only right that I bring it full circle on what's really going on in my life. But before we get into that, we have a first time eating these tacos. Now I'm kind of nervous if I'm standing around and I'm looking at the box. I don't really know what's gonna happen. Hopefully, it's gonna taste like tacos. Cause for real, the Dorito Loco Tacos chill didn't really taste like a Dorito to me. But hopefully, they'll nail it in the head. Go ahead, get this taste like some tacos. So, without all this talking, let's get our first bite. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give y'all the first bite with the pepper and the sour cream gushing. You feel me? So, I put what I put in here is the taco meat. I cooked the taco meat myself. You know, with the season, El Paso season. Then I got some tomatoes, some lettuce, some sour cream, and some cheese, and some jalapenos. I also put a little avocado hot sauce on them. So, hopefully this thing be busting, because that avocado hot sauce is busting. So, cheers. Mmm. Oh, hold on. Mmm. Gotta lick that off. Can't wipe that off. Gotta lick it off. Yo, look at it. They got the sauce on my finger and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it's my new shell. For real. Because for real, yeah, I had got so tired of um plain nacho shell. And then the Doritos and the Cool Ranch and the Nacho just weren't doing it for me. So I started doing like the regular Dorito, buying the bag of Dorito, and just making like a little taco salad or something. But hey, they shaking back with this one. I done ate the whole taco in less than two minutes. So if that don't tell y'all nothing, y'all ain't on it. This thing good right here. And it's not too spicy. It really ain't spicy at all. Even with the hot sauce and the jalapeno peppers on there, which is Louisiana peppers, bro. It's really fire. It's really fire. I'm trying to tell you something. A one. 
Grade one, A one. Grade one, A one. Oh, Zay. Hold on. Mm. Mm mm. Mm. Taco number two. Mm. Mm. Yo, this is busting. All right, you see that red on that shell. I really think they got the dust off the taco chip. And we just put it on the regular shell. And I got the standing tall shell. I like call, what they call these things? The stand and stuff shell. Mm. It's busting at the back. Oh, oh, yeah. Mm. I really support the organization of the No South Left Behind. So I had to get there for a slip the body out. We run with the No Leaking Society. And you can't let no sauce slip out the back of your taco. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, I know I said I had a story time, but I didn't know you thought I was gonna be busting like that. You feel me? I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all what y'all came from. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got the first bit. These tacos is a 10 out of 10. I ain't lying. Ain't no cap. It is very bussing. I do it very bussing. And you can tell, you know, they leave some of the red. The red start dripping off the plate. You know what I'm saying? But let me bite this. Let me bite this last. I just got to eat this taco. Okay, boom. So... Y'all know the story of mostly, if not all, all lesbian women, you know, especially the masculine ones, you know. I'm not really masculine, but I would prefer dominant, if you know what I'm saying. I don't really do a lot of terms for their nature. So, y'all know the story they always try to put on every level. Every lesbian woman, especially the masculine zone. How you know you this if you ain't never had this? Or how you know if you ain't never tried all this other stuff? Woo, 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 woo. So, if y'all don't see my coming out story, you know what I'm talking about. So, coming from a Christian background, you know, old Negro spiritual type background, you know. Big mama in them house, you know, grandma, all that. Son did done all that right there. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So, which is, you know, crazy to me, you know. So it's like this. I, you know, growing up being young, you don't, you don't really have your own mind at first. You know, you gotta really grow into yourself. So, you had telling me, you know, you this, you that. How you know you ain't never tried this? So, to keep my real self hidden under identity, you know, I try, you know, I try to have a little boyfriend or whatever, you know, a little a male friend or whatever be the case, maybe. So, you know, with these little all heady little nugget here, you know. And then, you know me, I ain't finna get no goofball type dude. I want thugs, you feel me? <laughs> I ain't want no goofball type, you know what I'm saying? So I want some I can, you know, that I can identify with. Because if you real feminine, man, I, I, I think I'm gonna just knock you on out the way. So, boom, I started talking to this dude. I think he was a little older than me. 
I can't really remember because it's been so long. You know, this back when I was peewee, like maybe like 15, 16 years old. So no cap, man, this dude like real tight. Like we used to go on the corner store. My dude used to steal for me, you know what I'm saying? He used to give me drinks and stuff, put them in the pocket, we walk out the store, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So we was, you know, and I went all the way this like me, you know what I'm saying? I went tatted up, I went all like this. So I'm still kind of finding myself. So I'm gonna still, I guess I'm still a little girly a little bit. So he was like my knight in shining armor, you know what I'm saying? Stealing from me, I don't, you know, I like stole and stuff like that, you know, all that cute stuff. So, boom. Me and dude was really hitting it off. Like, we was real cool, just clicking, bow, bye, bye. But me being so young, he was just my homeboy. You know what I'm saying? I, I have homeboys, and I tell people all the time how I am now. My relationships and my friendships really ain't no different. I just, you sexually attract the one and then you straight to town it with the other one. So I treat my friends, my so-called friends, the people that I, I'm good with, I treat them, you know, with the same respect as I would do my partner. It's just, you know, you on a level below. So yeah, you ain't getting no all that. But anyway, so me and dude chilling, we doing our thing. We watching TV, playing a game. You know, like I said, because I've always been a tone bar. I ain't no one with Barbie dolls, nothing like that. So, i never forget, man. It was one day, we was all outside playing. Now, this is summertime. You know how it used to be back in the day. All the kids outside. Ain't nobody letting their kids run in and out the house. So, you going to stay outside and you going to be in. And when you get thirsty, you got to drink out the water hose. You feel me? So, that's what we was on. So one day we wanted to play a game. Now mind you, ain't no grown people at home no more. All the grown people at work, you know, it's summertime, but you, you don't you don't get out of jobs for the summer. You don't start working for the summer. So we chilling. We just snuck in the house. But for some reason, I don't know if homeboy had it planned out or what. But for some reason, we end up playing the game. It's like me, him, his cousin, and his little sister. We all end up playing the game. And all of a sudden, they walk out the room. So I'm like, they finna walk to the store. So I'm like, boom, boom. We finna walk to the store too, right? Like, nah, let them walk to the store. We can just chill, vibe, and whatever. It's your turn to play the game. So I'm like, hmm, okay. Let's play the game. Being all naive and retarded, right? So <laughs> I'm sitting there playing the game. We blew we back and forth. So I don't know who won, who lost, but you know how people be, you know, ah, oh, you beat, you cheat, you do. So they're going to start play fighting. They go, okay, you know, I'm homeboys. I'm down for the round, so I'm down for the pillow fight. Cool, straight up like that. So while we playing, pillow fights, all that. Bro, all of a sudden, why I feel a hand where it ain't supposed to be at? Homeboy tried to touch on my kumquat. He was like, what are you doing? So in the back of my mind, we, we playing, we wrestling. So I'm naive and all this type of stuff. So little, little dude, come quiet. My feather duster, my thing thing, my whipper whopper. You know what I'm trying to tell you. So I'm like, I'm dumbfounded. Like, you know how you just freeze up cause you ain't never, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, man, I jumped off the court late in hell. Yeah, I'm about 15, still don't know what's going on. My mama didn't raise me like that. Plus, I was looking at females, so I, I mean, it is what it is. I was the one trying to touch, you feel me? So, having it done to me was a whole nother chapter, a whole nother story. So, boom, this going on. It feel like forever, but it was really only like five minutes. It going on, wap a wap wap So this guy takes it amongst himself 
to lead me to the bathroom. Why we going to the bathroom? I don't know, but here I am still dumbfounded, not clicking in my head what's really going on. I don't know who this dude had been talking to. Mind you, he was a little older, so maybe he's a little bit more experienced. I don't know, never asked. So we go to the bathroom. He pulled my shorts down, y'all. Like he pulled my shorts down, y'all. Like what the? Like now I'm like standing against the wall. Like what we doing? Like what you doing? Why we doing it? <laughs> just don't just stay. I was crazy. I'm just standing up. Like, what you doing? Like what you doing? So, man, this dude proceeds to get a little wash rag or whatever. Put some soap. <laughs> I come to think about it, this stuff so funny. He put some soap on it, right? Cause you know, we had been playing all that. I guess he said he gonna give me fresh and so clean before, you know, he do what he been trying to do. So I let go. He wiped me down real good, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Little man, I'm gonna say it's called a little man. He wasn't little, mind you, he was taller than me. He was about six foot. You know, I don't do no wimps. I told you, I like, if I'm do it, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so he proceeds to put his mouth on me. Go. When I said, hold on, he like, <laughs> he didn't even know what he was doing. Like, like what you doing, man? So, he was like, it's spicy. I'm looking around like, what you mean is spicy? Like, what are we talking about? I was confused. Crickets. Like, what are we doing? So, mind you, you take me out of the bathroom and go to the room. Nigga proceeds to pull out his little wee little back. His Johnson Sloan. His Peter Pepper. However you want to call it. I'm looking at, I'm like, I'm a, I am done turned the homegirl on love basketball. Like, you want to stick that thing in me? Hell no, buddy. It's like this type of water. Like, we ain't even get down like that. Man, when I say, I started making up excuses on people calling me. I got to be home for my mama get off. Nigga, I just don't want to do this. Then he proceeds to kiss me, which is the moment I knew of all knowing that I don't like men. I don't do boys. I don't do those. I didn't like how his mouth tasted. His slob was thick. I don't know if he brushed his teeth that morning. I don't know. But don't be kissing me because I didn't want that. That ain't what I want. So I'm like, uh-uh, that's nasty. So I just, hopefully, I was so glad them peoples came back from this store. When I say I was happy, I kind of like slid out the way. And we act like we were playing the game by five, ten minutes later. I went to the house. I was like, mm-mm, baby. And ever since then, I just been like, mm-mm, baby. That ain't my cup of tea. I don't rock with them. And from that moment on, I've been a full bone lesbian. I am sorry. But them things just don't look right to me. I just can't do it. <laughs> they don't even get on me. I know what y'all gonna say. But you got a strap though. So what? It don't mean nothing. It don't mean a thing, man. But yeah, like I was saying, man, these videos, this taco is bomb.com. Go and try these things. If y'all ain't tried them yet, go and try them. Go and like this video. And um, until next time, man, I hope y'all enjoy this story time. We can have a lot more. I gotta do a like video. We get five likes, we end this time. So until next time, somebody in my door.